Good day everyone and welcome to Home at the Hollow. My name is Glennis and welcome to my kitchen. This recipe, I'm not really sure what playlist or category it needs to be going in, but this is one born out of necessity. I have a friend, a subscriber, and I consider a friend who is having some issues <laughs> with squirrels in her yard eating up all her bird seed and I'm thinking okay what can I do what where can we go with this so and this is a spray it, it, it's kind of working on the, the same concept of my like my bird I call them bird biscuit recipe if you make my bird biscuit recipe which I'll drop a link below and I hope you watch it but you could add theoretically cayenne pepper to a bird biscuit recipe and then this way uh, squirrels chipmunks whatever is are not going to eat up all of your bird seed or your bird biscuits birds do not have like a taste bud like we think and they they can't taste hot or anything spicy like that um now this one, it's four cups of water, three drops of your dish detergent. If you don't feel like you're comfortable using your dish detergent in this, use vegetable oil and one ounce of hot sauce. Now, I think this is a hot sauce that came all the way from Baton Rouge. So I'm using it and I already measured it out. But what I'm going to do is just very, very simple. Add four cups of water to a spray bottle. Three drops or so of dish detergent. And if I can, one ounce of hot sauce. And that, there you go. It's, whoops, sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> it's really pretty simple, pretty easy. You know, just one thing that you need to be mindful of is when you're outside, if you're spraying like your bird feeder, that's, you've already put your bird food in, your bird feeders, just be mindful. Is it a windy day? Is this going to, you know, come back on me? You may want to wear some rubber gloves, uh, depending on how sensitive your skin is. Uh, but definitely, you'll want to make sure you don't do this on a windy day. Um, but spray it on your bird seeds. Spray it around the ground uh, to, you know, kind of keep them from, you know, wandering up and, you know, eating the bird seed and then traveling up from there. Um, in the fall, I very often will decorate with corn stalks and pumpkins and things like that. And this is perfect for spraying on corn stalks, pumpkins, whatever it is that you have outdoors that you think that squirrels or chipmunks are going to get a hold of and just completely destroy. But just, you know, be mindful of the wind and please be very very careful it is a pepper spray basically that's going to stick because of the dish detergent what i'm going to do with mine is this morning there was a bit of excitement the alarm went off i jumped up and there's a bear oh goodness probably 300 pound bear that's a small bear but a 300 pound bear right at the corner where my garden starts and I do have some squash that are in containers that's outside of the fenced area so I'm thinking yeah he's probably going <laughs> to have a little snack this morning a little breakfast but uh, I'm gonna try and spray this on there and see what happens if we can get rid of most of this rain I hope that all of this uh, helps y'all. I, I certainly hope that it does. I'm working on, I think you can see I have a pile of stuff 
gathered together to do some videos of make it yourself and save or stop buying and save. I have a playlist uh, below. And, you know, it's just one of those things that uh, if, you know, if you can watch a quick, you know, five, 10 minute video, instead of running to the store and spending 10, $20 on, you know, a few little ingredients to, you know, produce a dinner or lunch. So anyway, uh, and this is especially for her. I hope that this helps you and I will see y'all later, but I always, always, always hope that you join me here home at the Hollow. Goodbye, y'all.